Hey guys, it's Steph from Daz, and today I'm going to walk you through one way to animate a character in Daz Studio. If you want to learn another way to animate, check out the animation pose tool tutorial as well. But in this tutorial, we're going to cover three things. Animating a figure, leveraging two poses, animating a facial feature, and adjusting our render settings for animations. I promise it's going to be simple and easy. Let's get started. To demonstrate how to do this, I'm going to bring a figure into our scene. Let's go to the Smart Content tab in the top left corner, and then go to Figures. I'm going to choose a Genesis 8 figure. Now, let's add some clothing, go to Wardrobe on the left-hand side, and click on an item. Then let's add some hair. Go to the Hair Now and select the item you want. To see the textures, let's change the view. Go to the top right corner of your viewport and select Texture Shaded. And as a reminder, if you want to look around the figure scene, use the tools in the top right to rotate, pan, or zoom. Okay, now let's start animating. Go to the Timeline tab in the bottom left-hand corner. You can see that we have 30 frames currently, but let's extend that a bit so we can really explore this feature. Go to the Total area in the bottom left corner of the Timeline window and change 31 to 60. And let's move the playhead to five. Now go to poses in the smart content tab and select the one you like. I'm going to select base pose standing C and I'm going to double click to apply it. Great. Now bring your playhead to 55 and then let's select a different pose. I'm going to pick base pose walking A. I'm going to double click to apply. If you look in your timeline window, you can see that it has created two keyframes here and here. And if you drag the playhead between the two keyframes, you can see that we easily created a nice smooth transition between the two selected poses. Since we started at frame five, we will have this A frame pose at frame zero. Let's delete that. Click on frame zero and go to the bottom of the timeline window to the icon that has a key and a minus sign which is delete selected keys. And now we have a very smooth and nice animation. But let's do some more. Click on the head and click on this navigation tool to frame the head. And then let's rotate it a bit. I wanna make her blink at frame 30, so let's move our playhead. Let's make sure our head is selected in the top right tab called scene, and then let's go to the bottom right window and click on posing then select eyes and then let's slide eyes close to automatically create a keyframe then move the head two frames and move the eyes close slider up move two keyframes again and bring eyes closed back down we've now made a blinking animation press play in the bottom toolbar so you can see the entire animation let's back up a bit and take another glance at our entire animation Looking good. I think we're ready to render. Go to the render settings tab on the left hand side. Make sure you're in the editor tab and then the general section. Let's adjust our render type to image series to get the full animation. If you select still image, you will only get what is currently in the viewport. Then let's adjust the render range. This is the control that lets you adjust the total duration of your animation. Since our animation doesn't start till frame five, let's change this to five and then 55. Then name your file under series base. Then select where you want the file to live under series path. Then hit render in the top right corner of the window. Once that is done rendering, go into your editing software and import the file as an image sequence. Awesome, now we have our first animation in Daz Studio. As a reminder, we covered animating a figure's body, leveraging two poses, animating a facial feature, and adjusting our render settings for an animation. Thanks for listening.